Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Diane Desiel and today I'm showing you how to do pin tucks. We'll do it on pattern and on sewing. Now here what the pin tuck look like from a close-up. You could see that it's a tiny pleat that is sewn all the way. Usually pin tucks are sewn vertically parallel to the grain line or across the grain line. You could also see them diagonal, but remember that if you do so on the bias, it will stretch. So the result is not that great. If you want to have diagonal line in your style, I suggest you still do it parallel to the grain or across but cut your fabric 45 degree. In today's video I'm going to show you two different ways of doing the pin tucks. One way where we sew the pin tucks before and then we cut the normal pattern and I'm also going to show you how to indicate pin tucks on a pattern piece. Since I have my sample already done, I'm going to show you how to use it to cut your pattern. First, you could notice that I did five pleats. I'm going to use the middle one to be my center front. And I also did horizontal pin tucks, so I'm going to verify to make sure that they're aligned. Now I'm going to take my pattern piece and place it over, but not exactly at the fold line. I'm going to place it at the stitch line because this little pleat is added to the contour. So right on the seam line and I could decide at which level I want the horizontal pin tuck to be. So I place it just like that. Now I could trace all around and cut it. Here you go, the little front piece of my little dress is ready to sew just as usual. Now to do the pattern, I'm going to show you how to do the vertical tuck, just like this one. Usually I tell you that to start you should retrace the pattern or your block, but this time you should start with a straight line that's going to be the center of your pattern. Now it's time to decide the width of that little sewn pleat and to be able to call it a, a pin tuck. It has to be very tiny. If I show you here with my ruler, it's about a millimeter and a half from the fold line. So now on my paper from the center line, I'm going to measure 1.5 millimeter. Then we could trace that second line. The next thing you're going to do is decide the distance that you want between your little pin tuck. On this example, I did them at about 1.5 centimeter distance but it's all up to you. It's a matter of style. It could be two centimeter if you want. Then you also have to decide how many tucks that you want. And on your block, you're going to trace line parallel to the center front at the distance that you want and the amount of line that you want. Now you're going to place your block right on that second line that you did that has the width of the little pleat and you're going to trace on top from the center front to the first line and at the waist I'm going to trace all the way to the second line and indicate. Now we could connect the two points and trace that line and before putting back the block we need to trace a second line that has the complete width of that little pleat. Now the first pleat we did was half of a pleat, so I did it 1.5 millimeter. Now this pleat is going to be a complete pleat, so it should be at 3 millimeter. So you're going to mark it twice and trace your line. Now that we have the pleat, we're going to continue tracing. So take your block again, place the first line on top of that second side of the pleat, keep it straight at the bottom, and we're going to trace from the first line to the second one. Same thing at the neck. Then we could connect the two points. Then again, we're going to have the three millimeter for the complete pleat parallel to this line. Then again, we connect the two dots, tracing a straight line. 
Now, since my style had those three pleats, I did the half pleat here because it's on fold, and I did my two pleat. I am finished adding for the pleat, so I'm going to use my block again, overlap my block, the second line, to my last line trace on the paper, align at the bottom, and I'm going to trace the rest of my bodice. For this style, I'm going to do the complete front because I want to show you exactly the notch that you need and where to place them. So I'm going to fold on that first line that I did. Now I'm going to cut my pattern all around and most probably you're going to notice that when I do cut at the neckline, I'm just going to go straight from one side of the pleat to the other. Now my pattern is cut, but I still need to put the notches so I sew my tuck at the right position. The first one we're going to do are going to be placed exactly at the fold of the paper, at the waist and at the neck. Now we're going to do the other notches. And you're going to fold back the pattern on the center line and we're going to do two notch at the waist and two notch at the neck, exactly in the middle of the two line of the first pleat and the other one, same thing, in the center of the two line for the second pleat. And we're going to do the same thing at the neck. So center of the two line, center of the two lines. Now here maybe you notice that I'm going to be folding my paper or my pattern so I'll be able to use my notcher and do the notch exactly where I want it to be. Now the pattern is finished. I'm going to cut this one in fabric and I'll show you how to sew your pin tucks. Now the little front piece is cut and what I suggest is that before sewing your pin tuck, you press each little pleat folding it according to the notch that you have at the top and at the bottom. So you press with the tip of your iron each one of the pleat. Now we'll be ready to sew the pin tucks. If you have your little top stitch foot, it might work, but with my little cotton, it's too thin, and I try my top stitch foot, the 1 32nd of an inch and the 1 16, but both of them, it doesn't work because my fabric is too thin. If you do your pin tuck on a little heavier fabric, then you could try, it might work. But for today's example, I'm going to use my magnet for the sewing to control the distance of my top stitch and have it parallel on every single line. I guess you notice that I did stretch or pull on each one of my little pleat and to make sure that your front doesn't stretch like that in the land, you must make sure that the tension of the thread is at the proper adjustment. Now that the pleats are all done, we're going to pull them on both sides and we're going to give a little bit of steam, pull again. You don't have to press them sending it on one side or the other, just a little steam on both sides. Here you go, the pin tucks are done. That's it for today, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks to be there and I see you next time.